of all It couldn't be your fault When his life and mine will fall It will always be my fault Trying to throw this shade on me Like they all hate on me Don't bring that rage on me Why they throwing shade on me Like they ashamed of me I thought what age are we Uh huh it's warm outside, and we all want to shine. Bet you nobody in the city could stay in the crib this time. Whoa, got pics on the way like a vacay. Shoot photo with the AK. Got friends by my side, trying to have a great day. And I wonder why they throw shades. Yeah, but it's all on me. Let them roam free like a European. Yeah, see me pick up the phone like I'm trying to haul a home, starting to act like ET. Yeah, rock them shades, now they can't see me yeah. Trying to run away, but I'm not speedy Need no fake, I just want what's real And I ride that way till I'm free, yeah Trying to throw yeah. this shade on me Like they all hate on me Don't bring that rage on me No rage Hey! Good evening! Evening! How are you doing? Good, thanks, you? Yeah, yeah. How's your week been? It's been alright. It's been alright, not bad. It's been busy. I can't remember what I've done. But I've done a lot, but not, not much at all. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's, <laughs> hard, you know that's quite hard to process. I know it is, yeah. You, so, you, yeah. It's been one, it's a bit, I've had a few of those days where you sat there and you feel like you're doing... You've sat down to do a load of jobs for a day and you've done a lot, but you haven't done anything that you wanted to do. I call them nothing days. You know when you've got loads of jobs to do? Where like either pay bills or do this or do that yeah yeah when you sit down you go well i've not stopped but i haven't really done anything yeah and then and then, then your missus asks you what have you done today and you're like, oh. and you, you, <laughs> well, i've done a lot but i don't i can't really tell you what i've done you buy more fans i bought a few yeah but i think we bought the most we bought in a month this month yeah it's yeah. starting to level out now mate isn't it yeah, and it's, I think it's the best month we've ever had as well, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Hope it continues. I tell you what, I'm getting problems with checking vans off, mate. I think because they've been um, sitting for like three months and they've had three months in the baking sun, not being started, not being open, nothing being done to them. I'm just hitting bits and bits of problems. I'll ask Lee about that a bit later, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this, this, uh, Lee will be a very busy boy coming up because there's going to be a lot of vans that are in the same position. They've been kept in storage that you can't get out, you can't turn over, you can't turn on, the batteries have gone dead and so on. It's quite funny, actually, because he come in to me on Friday and uh, I said, how are you? I've had a bad day, I've had a bad day. <laughs> I'll let you tell you later. <laughs> uh, what that last show, Shane? Yeah, excellent. And I'm just going to put the banner up, banner up for it. For Great Brandon. show, Grand Adventures. He came across brilliant, mate. Wow, what a life, eh? Yeah, I, it was just what a what a guest to have. Like yeah. he was just brilliant. Yeah, don't forget we got Robert as well from Lower Lake. And we did, yeah. No, he came across brilliant as well. He gave really? a lot of an insight into um, what it's like to be a caravan port during this time. Yeah, the ma madness descends, doesn't it? This week, this weekend. Yeah. So I mean, we'll see if we can get him on Sunday, actually, to just uh, because they've issued no guidelines, have they? I don't know. Have they? Have they, have they not brought anything out yet? I know no, they hadn't no. done. What this was just before. No, no, no guidelines. That's when I spoke to him the other day, there was none because they're saying yes, you can use pubs, you can open pubs, you can open uh, the toilets and everything, but there's no guidelines. So he was saying to me, "Well, I'm just going to keep them closed." Uh, all right. I reckon, all right, I've got a feeling they might have let something out there. The good thing is, now the biggest news of the week is a very surprising thing, which the the toilet blocks and everything, the shared facilities are allowed open, aren't they? Yeah, but there's no guidelines, O'Shea. They haven't issued any guidelines, so if it was me, keep them closed. I haven't had a look. I, they'll, they'll bring something out. But the good thing is, is they are, because that was the biggest shock for me out of everything. I thought they were going to shut everything down. You've got to look, use your own facilities. And that's all you can do. Yeah. But it's, as long as they're kept clean is what they've said. Mm. You if, you, if you want to get hold of us, ask any questions or anything at all, or just generally, um, you can get me on Twitter. 
on Caravans and Campers at SY45RP on Instagram, the Motorhome Man. You can also subscribe to me on the Motorhome YouTube channel and Shane. Yep, so Jason at the uh, the Motorhome Man and me at We Buy a Motor Caravan. If you search both of them, you'll find us both. This could go pear shaped like a country. We're going to try, right, we're going to try open mic tonight. We have the facility with this uh, streaming platform that we do. We can get anybody on. All you need is your phone, your PC, your laptop, a tablet, anything. So rather than asking a question, yes, the Trudgeons, rather than asking a question in the comments, right, if you email us to the motorhome show at gmail.com, we can email you back with a link. All you have to do, people, is to click on the link and we can bring you straight on the show um, to ask you. Let, let, let's just go through these shout outs, mate. Yep. Start, okay. from the, start, from, start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. It's always a good place to start. Gregor Menzies, evening, everyone. I have reappeared after having had a few busy weeks. No problems. Gregor, if you want to come on the show, email. We'll email you back and we can bring you straight in. Caravan shorts, same with you as well. Evening all, you can do exactly the same caravan shorts. Um, Life Beyond Bricks, hello everyone. Jimmy Page, evening Jason, Shane and Lee. Um, oh, ah, Phil, Phil, I speak to you <laughs> on Twitter. Right, email show at gmail.com. We'll send you an email back, mate, and just click on the link and we'll bring you into the show. And just ask a question, say hello if you want to push a YouTube channel. It's called Open Mic, Shane, isn't it? It is, yes. It is. It could be no one, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> There's another guy every single week, Dirty Trucker. Oh, Trevor Dawkins, evening, guys. Dirty Trucker. Every single week he watches us. Uh, definitely. Uh, evening, gents. Come on, mate. If you want to do, email us at themotoramshowgmail.com and we'll email you back with a link. I'm working here, Comptry. I've been here from Friday afternoon, maybe here until Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Who do you want next? Help me, lads. Gary West, help me, lads. What help do you want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm skipping ahead. Oh. Hope this Ooh. okay. Hi. Does anybody know of any carpentry or junior workshops looking for staff? I've got my level two MVQ in sight. I'm looking for junior workshop base or shop work. I'm from Northampton. Please contact me. Anybody wants to give the guy a job? Give the guy a job. See, yep. man, we're now going into... What's, what, what is it? <laughs> Work agency, as it's called. Yeah. Like Carpenter. I mean, there's, there's plenty of damp vans out there. Hey. Hey. Who else have we got? Tony the Tin. Good evening, all. Come on the show. Caravan Shorts. Evening, all. Come on the show. Life Beyond Bricks. Hello, everybody. We've had Life Beyond Bricks on. <laughs> evening, fellas. Philbo. Patrick, hi from sunny Belgium. Sunny Belgium, come on the show and say hello and tell us all about Belgium. The Trudgeons, lots and lots of clearing. I really feel for the site wardens. Yeah, it's extra stuff as well, uh, Dan. We're using our onboard facilities 100%. Totally agree with you, Dan. I think we touched on that when we chatted to Dan. Yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah. We did. Martin Sills, evening guys. Martin Sills, if you want to come on, available today. Hi, guys, if you want to come on, email and we'll email you back and we can bring you onto the show. Carly, oh, I've not done my makeup. I haven't. <laughs> hey, Jess. Just I, feel like say hello. I feel like you put some hairspray on there, Jason. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I could oh, hear that. I, mate, I need an haircut. I really need an haircut. One thing, and I don't even want to go to the hairdressers when it opens as well. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you not been contacted by your regular? Stylish. Hey. I don't know. I thought I thought the hairdressers are contacting all the clients. Or did you do it? I actually, I'll tell you where I go. I go the old traditional one. I go the Turkish one. Turkish hairdressers where you go in and you just you sit and you just wait your turn. Everybody has a chat, and want to talk. You can have um, a shave as well, do all your face and all that lot. And cut your hair, 15 quid, done. Very good. 
What do you think of the DM? Ah, did you talk except to the DM about the Motor Home Show on Sky Channel 192 starts tomorrow? I don't know. Did you talk as well? Watched it yet? But we could talk about it next week, couldn't we? No, I, I told I you did, about it. You told you about it. Me or this? I told you about it. Yeah, I'd, I'd seen the advert before, but I think if I remember it rightly, it's three couples in a motorhome, and it's advertised as, oh, I know, motorhome show from real motorhomers or something like that. We'll see. Stephen B, hooray, best vloggers on YouTube. Who's that, Stephen B or us? <laughs> Stephen B, come on and tell us. Come on and tell us, and that might have a chat. Hi, guys, how are you, Ivan Sackville? Come on and ask us. Gary, right, Gary, here we go. Here's the challenge. Gary, evening, gents. Can you find me 100 votes? Gary, I really want you now. Get that email up, mate. Gary, five minutes of your time tonight. We can have a great chat. Just email us at the show at gmail.com, mate. Right, we'll ping you an email out with a link on it. Just get you on just for five minutes because we could have a great chat with Gary. Come on, Gary. Who's next? The caravan addies, evening all, hope you're all having a good Sunday. Yeah, hope everybody else is. The caravan player, Mark, all right, lads, I will cut. No problems, get the link. <laughs> Email us, Mark, get the link out to him. We'll get Mark on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, quick yeah. five minute catch up. I've just, I've just found my favourite comment of the night. Go on. I look like a Lego figure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I keep getting called Jim Carrey. Oh, uh, Lee's, <laughs> Lee's got one for you in a minute. I'll, I'll he's, do you know what? Him. He's sitting in the lobby <laughs> like, and he's laughing like a big buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe, hi, guy. Kobe, yeah. You've been with us for a while. Come on, come on the show. Good evening, Jason and Shane from Mark Hill. Sorry, but late in the pro shop event in March third video vlog, roller blind fix and many tips. Oh, okay. That's a good one actually to do, Mark. It is, isn't it? Roller blind fix. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, they take ages to fix as well. And when somebody says, What have you been doing all day? Well, I've been doing a blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scud and the stick. Evening, everyone. And the rest are between the comments. Right. Between um, the comments. You want to have a run, don't you? Yeah, I've got a couple, <clears> actually. <throat> and there's there's one in particular which is a rant about a couple of the groups, a few of the groups on, on Facebook that I keep seeing pop up. And there's one in particular which is uh, very much aimed at campsites and calling them uh, rip-off campsites. Now, there's a lot of, obviously, full-timers in the comments and everything like that that are watching. Um, it'd be interesting to see what you think about this as well. But I'm, it's been, it's angered me a bit how many people have complained about prices. In what way? Of how much people are paying on campsites. They only have to be above like 15, 20 pounds, and people are absolutely screwing and saying, well, they've put the price up or they're not doing a discount. It's as if they forget that they've just been shut for six months, effectively. Are you finding the campsites are putting the prices up, mate? I've no idea, but it'd be interesting to see from the comments at the side. I mean, is it fair that they put them up or they don't discount? Well, I don't think they should be discounting. No, I don't either. I don't. But I just, I just, like I said, I keep seeing these, this group pop up, and I saw one of several thousand people the other day that says rip off campsites. Just don't pay for it. Just don't go. If you're not happy, don't go. But there's. And well, then also you can only you can only say something's a rip off if you've been charged thirty quid and been promised a swimming pool and a load of amenities and there wasn't a swimming pool there. That's a rip off. You, yeah, you can't say it's a rip off if you haven't actually paid for it and experienced it. So it's not a rip off. No, no. But no, I think it's very unfair how some people are doing. They're doing what's that. Your next, what's your next round? Next one. People complain about no discounts on motorhomes. What do you think about that? If you have many where people, have you picked, where have you picked this up, mate? Uh, these are all on the forums. These are all on the forums. Saying what? Uh, just saying that I can't believe people aren't doing forums and they're complaining about the people doing it. 
What, people aren't doing forums? Sorry, people aren't doing uh, discounts. Dealers aren't doing discounts on motorhomes. How many motorhomes have you got left, Jason? Uh, down to about 15, 20. But I have brought a load of vans in. And uh, I'm not advertising them, mate, because I can't keep up. Yeah. So I have, I am stockpiling some vans. Um, if you want, we can have a game at Motorhome Top Trumps later. We can do, yeah. I'll show you mine that I've had in. You show me yours. Let's see if we yeah, can jump on another. That's if anybody comes on the show. We're all out there. We can play that all day, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> we can do, yeah. We'll yeah. <laughs> um, so people are complaining because we aren't giving discounts on Motorhomes. Yeah, people complain about it because they're not getting discounts on motor owners and they're complaining because campsites are too expensive. A bit like Mark Mark Hill says, stuff the prices, you either you either stuff the prices, you either go or not. Yeah. Dad, there are sites up and down this country to variety of price breaks. Go where you can afford. Yeah. I think people moan for the sake of moaning, mate. Yeah. Like like I said, there's there's a few people having digs, but one that really it pissed me off was uh was the one that there's a deck i know i know there's a dedicated group for calling out campsites because they're a bit expensive right and that's all they're doing they're just lagging off campsites yeah. as if they haven't had it hard enough as it is yeah I... it's when we sell a van shade at the end of the day, the people get an MOT, they get a full service. If the CAMBOT wants to do the CAMBOT gets done, they get a warranty, um, they get everything checked off. What? And then you want a discount. The price right anyway. And the, and the tax man's going to take X amount of it. Yeah, you've got 20% VAT, you've got 20% uh, corporation tax, you've got everything uh, else. Yep. Yeah. There are many who think that anything over twenty pound a night is a rip off. They still think Barbara Windsor and Stephen James are yeah. banking pegs yeah. and <laughs> Paul Davies. But that's right. A lot of them are saying, you know, anything over twenty quid, and they, they just go off on one. Yeah, does me head in. Does me head in. Why are you on? Do you want to have a moment with anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna have another one. I'm gonna have a pop at the DVLA as well. While I'm in. Go on, man. <laughs> Right. Do you have a pop so the, of me as well? Um, in a bit, yeah. Oh. <laughs> DVLA. Now I don't know if you've come across this, Jason, but they haven't done any paper handled any paperwork since March. No. So if you sent in for any sort of paperwork to get sorted, they haven't touched it since March. So like we've we we're waiting for log for V fives. There's people I've seen that are waiting for, to get that sent the passports off to get the driving license back, and it's going back as far as February, and they can't actually get any ID out of them or any paperwork that's sent off. It is a tough one, though, Shane. In fairness, is it? Well, yeah. Why? The country's been closed down for three months. Yeah. And <laughs> you still carry on working. I mean, I, I get that. I get there's going to be a time when you know the virus does hold on to surfaces and so on. But come on, three, four months. Yeah, yeah. Teresa Timms totally agree. There are people moaning about not getting an extension for the CMC membership. It's basically one pound a week. The monthly magazine is with that. Happily pay the price. Yeah. Well, I've just had this week as well, look. Oh, have you joined? Join every year. Oh, do you? Yeah. I don't think I've really used it because it's always seems to be booked up wherever I want to go, but there we go. Okay, open mic. If you want to email us at themotorhomeshow.gmail.com, we'll email you back with a link. Um, and then we'll bring you on to the show. If you want to follow us on, follow me on Twitter... Chop chop. Yeah, there we go. Caravans and Camels, <laughs> Test Y four five RP on Instagram and the Motorhome Man. And you can subscribe to me on the Motorhome Man YouTube channel and Shane. Yep, so the Motorhome Man YouTube channel or We Buy a Motor Caravan for myself. You get to look at us even more. Right, shall we bring uh, Leon? Shall we get technical? Oh, we can do, yeah. I need to find this photo that Lee sent me the other week as well. But I'll there, you go. there you go. There you go.
How's your week, Ben? Hey, you seen that behind me? <laughs> oh. It was a good week till Friday. Go on, tell everybody about Friday. You had a right rant on you, didn't you? Oh, I, I did. I come to yours on Friday. I'll be honest, it's the closest I've ever come to telling a customer to go away. <laughs> really is. It's. But we won't go into too much detail, but yeah. What about, the poor, about, last cu- what about the poor last customer you went to? They got the van come back, come out, didn't they? They what? Basically, you switched all the gas on the van for them. <laughs> <laughs> They're a nightmare. Never mind. It's all a... Hey. Right, you've joined Twitter, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah, but I haven't now, done anything with it. I've been too busy to get to it all do, sorted. The key with Twitter is you do have to tweet something, Lee. Yeah, listen, I haven't got four people working for me while I sit in an office or sit in a motorhome with Kev following me around with a camera. I'm grafting hey. all day, Chase. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Listen, uh, just because you think you're a movie star now. I would. <laughs> I, one thing I've been coming up with, Lee, uh, some of the vans I've been checking off, mate, I'm getting loads of little bits of problems. How do you think because they've just been sitting there for three months, mate? Yeah. Yeah, I'm having a lot of problems when I'm going to vans to do servicing. They're, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, a lot of finicky little things that you don't normally find. You norm- The stuff you normally get at the beginning of the season. Um any fireworks going off that room? <laughs> it was on Thursday. Um, oh, it was so funny, Shane. Go on. It's nice to see somebody else have a bad day. <sighs> I, I want to. I want to know about this bad day. You can't give us half a story and then just. It, right. All right. It started off. <laughs> first, first customer turned up, dropped his van off at the workshop, disappeared. Gets the paperwork ready. He's took the keys with him. <laughs> and gone to work so yeah. straight away i'm like oh no so he turned back up with the keys about half 10 quarter to 11. um i had another customer come in who wanted a window taken out to send away for repair um from the storage yard behind my workshop five minute job but it previously been repaired by a local dealer who had managed to get the mastic all in the rail so the window was completely stuck in, so I had to virtually half take the rail off to get a window out. So what should have took me five minutes was 45 minutes to an hour. Then I have a customer on the phone that I'm not even going to discuss him because I'll just get myself wound up again. Um, and then, yeah, then I get Jason on the phone, come and have a look at a fridge, and you're thinking, oh, how can the day get any worse? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to do anything. I just wanted your advice when I was thinking. I was right, though, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. Right. What do you want to talk about this week? Well, actually, you were on about finicky problems with vans, weren't you? Mm. Yeah. Um, finicky problems with vans. Um, I've had a lot of alarm batteries failed over this period. Sergeant must be having them flying out the door because they're, they're all just gone. Um, the usual pump issues, you know, all that sort of thing. Things just jammed because they haven't been used in months and months. Um, which brings me on to what we're going to talk about tonight. I actually... Where did you get this inspiration of what you're going to talk about tonight? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> well... Jason rang me and says, what are we going to talk about this week? And I said, I'll give you a shout, I'll let you know. So whilst laying in the bath, as you do, (laughs) I thought, what can we talk about this weekend? And it was just staring at me. (laughs) Talking about rubbish, poo. Oh, there we go, sorry. I got that wrong, sorry, yeah. (laughs) Shane, me and you fall out. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I could see actually oh, thought, Fred, she was sitting there in the, in, the, in the bathroom in the bath and then he just saw you told you thought ah people are going to be using a lot of these yeah exactly yeah. it's it's something people are going to have to use people don't like to use them um, many people do 
so uh, yeah, so I thought, right, okay, we'll have a chat about toilets. Um, so I rang Jason up and said, right, Jason, I'm going to talk about, going to talk about toilets. Come home, click on YouTube. Mr. Trudgeon's done himself a YouTube <laughs> video on toilets. <laughs> I thought typical. However, it is more a video which is definitely worth a watch. Um, but I'm just going to cover some of the um, stuff for setting up your toilet. Um, and then afterwards, you can go and watch that. spoke about previously is the... Yeah, yeah, go, after, after this, go, go and watch Dance and have a look at his video. It is a good video, actually, to be fair. It is very good. Um, yeah, one of the things that you hear about is the black sludge um, and things like that inside the header tank. Um, now, a good tip for getting rid of that is bleach and water. And a ratio mixture of 100 ml of bleach to 10 litres of water. Now, you're not going to put all 10 litres in, but mix at that ratio. So, obviously, it's, you know, 50. 50 mil to five litres or whatever. Fill the tank up and leave it for a few hours. Then drain it out, flush it through with fresh water a couple of times just to get rid of all that bleach. Um, and that'll clear all the black and pink out of it. So, <clears throat> um, But the pink, you know, when you get that real thick, clumpy pink bit in your, in your tank, that's caused by overdosing. People put too much pink in because if you look at the actual mix ratio, it's actually quite low and it only just um, turns the water pink in your flush tank. So people think they need to put more in, so they put more in. That's why it all goes clumpy in the tank. So, so yeah. So in the header tank, and I've got some here by the side of me somewhere. There's two types. I'm, it's very we'll, good shape, isn't it? Hey, we're getting really good here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just can't get, me head, I, I can't get my head around the word overdosing on a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, they're all additives. Yeah. All the stuff that goes in the toilet, the flush and the waste you know, are all additives. Um, and people just add too much. That's that's the problem. Um now, Thetford have their maker toilets, Dometic have their maker toilets, both have their own ranges. Um, you can also get the Elson, the Blue Diamond, there's, there's loads of different ones out there. For the purpose of tonight, I've got the Thetford stuff with me. Now, something else that I hear people saying with the tank rinse, which is the stuff that goes in your flush tank, is to get the normal aqua rinse and put it in a spray bottle, yeah? Now that is the Aqua Rinse spray, which is the one that Thetford do. That is the specifically designed for being in that spray bottle. The actual Thetford normal bottle that you get of pink flush is not designed to go in a spray bottle. It's designed to be mixed with water. And Thetford advised not to put the normal pink, pink stuff in a bottle like that and spray it. Okay. Why? Because it because it, that's an airborne spray. You're spraying that and it's giving off airborne vapors. Thetford, Thetford's advice is not to mix normal pink flush and put it in a spray bottle and spray the toilet. That's what that one is specifically designed for. Is to for when you've got no flush tank, that one is, so that you're using your mains tank. Um and uh you just spray that in the toilet first, do what you got to do, and then flush your water and give it another spray. So that's the pink. Now, obviously, going into the bowl, you've got your cassette. So you've got the Aquachem um, blue, um, which now they do it in all these nice little concentrate bottles, a bit smaller. That's the new one. That's the Aquachem blue concentrate lavender. Smells very nice. Lavender. Sorry? Lavender. Lavender. Lovely lavender. <laughs> but also for on sites that have got um, septic tanks, you've got the Aquachem Green, which is the septic tank safe one. Now, again, the dosing on those is quite specific. And I know Dan said in his video, people are worried about using the toilet 
and you know people have a p in them but they won't do the number two that stuff that there is designed to break down the solids so as dan put it in his video you are left with a soup in, in your cassette when you go to empty it see the problem with dan video is as well is it, what he should be doing is telling the family when the cassette is out um, and not to use it also the except we have a cheer show <laughs> 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 and the accessibility add-ons to make the loo easier for those with limited mobility. Have you, have you ever have you ever bought one before, Jason, where uh, you've pulled the cassette toilet out and there's a bit of a mess behind it? Yeah. Now, I actually went to do a hub check for Jason on a van that came in and went and did it and opened the toilet and I was like, Jace, have you seen what's been left in here? <laughs> do you remember that one? Just my head, didn't you know? I can't believe someone sold a van and actually left that in there. That was, oh. Well, well I think it's up there. Cassette toilets and electric steps. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think leaving electric the steps in the stuff. toilet. Shane, I'm enjoying listening to Lee talk about crap. <laughs> <laughs> so the other stuff you've got, which people get carried away with, the toilet, the toilet paper. Yeah, that's the specific stuff. It is expensive, but again, it's designed to break down. People say they use cheap toilet paper. That's fair enough. What you don't want to be using in a toilet cassette is the big, thick, quilted stuff because it gets wrapped around the mechanism inside the cassette. And, you know, people don't want to be putting their hands in there to try and get it all out. Um, so, yeah, so basically using the correct stuff will give your toilet a decent life it'll break down the waste it'll you know i, th I think make things lee, easier lee this is quite important because i think a lot of people are going to be using the toilets um, over they the are, next yeah. few months instead yeah. of using the campsites i what you're saying there use the proper products exactly yeah yeah if if you're using the proper products in those toilets you're not going to have any problems you know, if that's what they're designed for, and people are saying, you know, don't put um, anything in your waste tank, right? If, if you don't want it, you know, that's fine. You don't have to, but it's that's what it's designed for. You know, they haven't brought out these products. All right, yeah, they do make money off them, but that's not the purpose of them. They are used in conjunction with the toilet and the toilet cassette to make it efficient, to prolong its life and to break down the waste you know that's that's the purpose of it so mark hill can i use the organic green stuff in cassette and head it you don't need to use the green stuff the actual pink is actually septic tank safe it's it's only the aquachem blue that shouldn't be used in a in a system that use is a septic tank so you'd use a green and a pink any other tips uh, regarding the cassettes and the toilets, mate? Oh, okay. Seal lubricant. Okay. <laughs> this week, I actually had to go, after I went to you on Friday, I had to go to a horse box where the toilet cassette was all mangled up. Basically, it's been sat for months. They've tried to open the cassette and the blade has been stuck to the lip seal because yes. it's not been lubricated. Yeah. And it's literally ripped the disc off because they forced it. Spray your seals regularly with seal lubricant. Um, spray your door seals. You know, and, and it just keeps them going, keeps them, makes them last longer. It's like with your windows, isn't it? And especially with the heat, uh, Lee, uh, where the windows are short and it's sticky to the rubbers as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing with your cassette is they do a cassette tank fresh, uh, tank cleaner. So if you're using it for the full range of your ones and twos then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah give you uh, out that, didn't it? <laughs> yeah I, I was trying i was trying not to swear <laughs> if you're going to use it for peeing and sh <laughs> um then yeah then use the tack the uh, cassette cleaner give the cassette a clean it does work actually because i've used it in my own um and the only other two products they've got are the toilet bowl cleaner and is that the as well all this is all Thetford, Thetford, that, the whole thetford ba bathroom range 
Yeah. Now all that is designed for use on your your toilet plastics because you shouldn't use bleach on any of that stuff. You know anything a, a, a really abrasive like that or aggressive like that. This stuff is designed for using on the Thetford toilets or the thematic toilets or whatever. Um, that's the purpose of it. And and yeah, it's uh, everything always works better with leave. You're right, Dan. So yeah, that's the purpose of it. So you use all that stuff and you'll be fine using your own facilities over the next few months. It's a good topic that was, mate, actually. Like I say, because they're going to get used... They just don't now, get used, and they're going to get used more and more now over these next few they months. Are, yeah, I've, I've had an email today, because we're away next Friday, uh, Saturday, um, which we'd had booked since the start of the year, and uh, sites are open. We're doing three sites over just over a week. Um, first site emailed and said yes we're going to be open the facilities will be open um, but we would advise you to use your own if you have them um, they have put a load of stuff in place for um, oh you're under pressure there mate <laughs> must be doing a giveaway on all the Thetford rage oh that's put your money where your mouth is <laughs> shut us around it <laughs> um, I'm not going to go into that. Well, uh, the first site, yeah, facilities are open, but they have got a load of things in place. Second site has said the same. Third one's emailed me today saying the site is open. There are no facilities open. They they are saying you've got to use your own. Um, I mean, we're only there for three days, so but you know, for three days, you, you're going to be using your own facilities. Russell, have, have, have you been given a profitable sales pitch off Thetford? Uh, um, to be fair, I'm Thetford warranty agent, so... <laughs> yes. Just, <laughs> okay. However, well, do you, do you, are, they, are they a good product, though, mate? Yeah, yeah, I use all the Thetford stuff on, on ours. Um, yeah, the Thetford do the toilet sachets as well. Now they do the green and the blue sachets. Um, so you don't, and they are perfectly dosed. Each sachet is perfectly dosed. You just put it in. Um, so yeah, they are. They. Um... So I was just looking at what's in there. Mark Hill wears our ten percent off code. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, they are. They, they are good products. I have the Dometic products as well. Um, the Dometic products don't seem to sell as well. Don't know why. I don't know because all the Dometic stuff is in sachets, you know, apart from the sanitary rinse and things like that, but all the actual blue and green is all on sachets. So all Dometic sachets, are they? The Dometic stuff is, yeah. Would that be because, does. as a consumer, by seeing a Thetford bottle and just seeing a sachet, a bottle's giving you, in, in your mind, more the, for your money? The Dem Yeah, it yeah, could be. Could be. Martin I mean, Dometic... Dometic, if you put the Dometic um, blue tablets and the Thetford blue tablets side by side, the tubs are identical size. So. Eric Lacey, evening, Eric. Liverpool fan Listen talking to us. <laughs> Listen to all these haters out tonight. <laughs> by the way, Man City are winning. <sighs> Doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Doesn't, does they're, really. they're not winning the league. You've been put under pressure there, mate. You must be doing a giveaway at all the Thetford range. Well, to be fair, you said that you were after stuff to do this week. <laughs> you did. You said you are after stuff to do this week. And I thought, do you know what? I've been coming on here for a few weeks. I have got a bit of uh, extra work from, from coming on here. So it's good to give a bit back. So I did say yes. All that stuff that I've just shown you. Just quickly you go through with... them all, mate. Just quickly go through each one again so everybody knows what they do. Here we got. So we're giving this away, all right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Aqua rinse spray, um, toilet bowl cleaner, bathroom cleaner, tin loop seal. Like That's shocking, that does. <laughs> I know, I can't help but smile when he says it. Cassette cleaner and a concentrated blue and green. And There's a few quits worth that, mate, isn't there? Yeah, there's probably... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, probably about 40, 50 quids worth there. Fair play, mate, fair play. So, yeah, if you so, don't want an overdose, 
we give it some lube away. <laughs> <laughs> we need a question then, don't we? Right. Yeah. So okay, 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 okay. If you were designing your own toilet range, what would you call it? And it can't be called Ooh. Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna pick the winner. Oh well, okay. <laughs> so if you were designing <laughs> okay, if you were designing your own toilet what would your toilet range be called? Lee's got to pick the winner, and he's got his best sport there, to be honest with you. Uh, 40, 50 quid's worth. Uh, so yeah, fair play, Lee. Fair play. <laughs> so you can stick around and see who's going, to, uh, who's going to win this, mate. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. All right, then, I'll speak to you in a bit. We might have more All questions right. we get, we'll, we'll uh, bring you on. Uh, Extreme Motor Adventures, we've actually brought bowl liners. Uh, I think that's where they're called, as we don't usually use the toilet when away for anything other than a tittle. Yeah, just before you go, Lee, what do you think of that? What do you think of them? The bowl liners, yeah. It, it is just literally like a liner that sits in a bowl, and then when you do what you got to do, yeah. They, so if we put some see. cling film over the top of the toilet, is that the same thing? <laughs> uh, you could do if you really wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Right, before he can answer that, I'll remove him. See you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, we're going to try open mic. Anybody who wants to come on, all you have to do is very simple. If you want to come on live and just ask a question or just say hello, how do we do it, Shane? We email the motorhome show at gmail.com. That's all you have to do. We'll send you an email back with a link. Click onto the link. We'll bring you into the show. And we've and actually all... had... Go on. I don't know what I was going to say, though. That's all <laughs> you have to do. That's all you have to do. And we've actually had a couple of people come back to us, haven't we? I hope so. <laughs> I'm struggling. So, yeah, go on, then. Bring, bring someone in, then. Bring... Let's, let's uh, see who's coming. Okay. I can see Mark there, mate. I can see Mark. Right. Who do you want to start with? Mark. Mark. Yeah, yeah. Hi, mate. Hello, that's all right. That's How's a very going? scenic brick wall over there, isn't there? It's a faux, faux brick wall, is this? Yeah. A faux brick wall? Yeah, it's... it's um, if, you, if you take the paper off, brick. you see the bricks behind. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> hand, hand painted. Anybody who doesn't know Mark, Mark, uh, the caravan place in Wolverhampton, he sells caravans. Uh, how's it going, mate? Yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been good. It's been up and down, um, up because the sales are still going strong, but it's just trying to get the stuff out the door is the problem. Uh, that's been the hardest. Are you getting the same? Are you getting the same as me, mate? We've just been hit with problems after problems. Yeah, yeah, I and I, I think it's. We always get problems, but we're, we're trying to get things done as fast as possible. Um, and it just seems that all the little things just turn into a major thing. And then, like Lee was saying before, you'll, you'll come to something that's a five-minute job, and it an hour later, you're going, why am I still doing this? Um, so it's, it's caused more pressure. I think I've been trying to put more pressure on the, the lads in the workshop and probably been getting a bit tetchier and sort of really trying to get on top of them. Um, have you got everybody back in, mate? There's everybody except for one at the minute. So I've got one workshop go starts again on Monday. Uh, I was trying to get him in earlier and he, he was moving house, unfortunately. So uh, Monday was the first time that I've been able to get him back in. So, yeah, it's uh, hopefully that'll take a little bit of pressure off. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's it's been, we've been buying stuff strongly, we've been getting lots in. Um, but it's just the amount of time that it's taken to get the stuff out the doors at the minute. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. And then, like I say, so it's I not up... no, no, I think it's, I think it is everybody. And again, it's, we've just been it with such a big volume coming straight. We've not had an ease back into it. It's literally just been thought, thought <laughs> yeah. into yeah. it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, you've had to literally hit the ground running. Uh, and I think that first couple of weeks we'd done 14 uh, and it was like, hang on a minute, we've we've now got to try and get 14 out the doors and then obviously the, the, the sales have carried on. Um, 
but it's it's ended up making me then more stressed, more onto the lads. And then um, this this week was a funny week actually because I've I've been really going onto the, um, the workshop about getting things ready, and I, I want it done quicker. I want it, and he's sort of hang on a minute. I want to do it properly. It's I'm not yes, going to rush it. Um, but I've been sort of really, really on his back. And then on Tuesday, we've been out to see a caravan. Uh, coming back, driving back, and uh, there's a car in front. We've gone past the tractor. Um, we've left it a little bit, got past the tractor, and all of a sudden we've come around the bend, and this car that was in front of us, it's, it's now sideways, blocking across the road. And it's like, oh, bloody hell, like, what's gone on here? It gets out that it was an elderly lady, um, and the, the she rolled the car basically. Um, a couple of us had got made sure she was got her into somebody else's car. Um, luckily, she'd literally just cut a finger like, from from what we could say. Um, but she's come back out. We're trying to move the car off the road and just clear everything up. She's come out of the car and she's going, "Oh my, my glasses, and I need some. I need something from my finger." And I'm like, "Hang on a minute, love. You need to sit back down. You don't know." You don't know what's what's going on anyway we've cleared the accident moved managed to start the car somehow it was a Renault as well it, like it <sighs> flipped over. it's it started it actually started so we managed to move the car back at back axle uh spring had completely come out and anyway chatting to them afterwards she said I've, I've literally just come back from the garage and they've just repaired that back spring that has failed it's it's just come out and uh, it was like, oh, hang on a minute, like it's it's not worth rushing things here uh, because and that that really brought it to home. And when I got back, I said to I pulled Dan over and I said, look, mate, I said you take as long as you need because like it's that that accident there. I think it's probably that the car garage has been under pressure. They've been trying to ramp things through, um, and it really really brought it back. And it's like, hang on a minute, like. I don't know what you were drinking. You've been drinking down there below, but I'm going to pull you on it when you come up. Yes, <laughs> yes, you, yes, you, yes, yes. Sorry, we'll, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll surprise them in a minute. Just bring them in when they're not yeah, looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, mate, that just back on a serious note, mate. Yeah, that really hits home. And sometimes yeah. it ain't worth rushing for the book, is it? Let's be honest. Yeah. It's, it's deals. It's a case of, look, you can have it now or you can have it when it's right. Yeah, yeah. And it's not as if we there. don't want them to have the van, mate, is it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And most most people have been understand. We've probably lost five or six vans because sort of people says, Oh, I want it I want it within a week or so and it's just it's just not possible. We just can't get stuff out at the minute. And then we were trying to build our YouTube channel up as well and that's all gone out the window now. So we've we've sort of not been able to do as much on that as we've wanted. Hard work but, um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a funny one at the minute. It's uh, it's very stressful, should I say? Yeah. So, how are you buying that on, mate? Um, yeah, no, going strong buying. To be fair, we've we've been. Do you think it's levelled out? It's not gone silly now. It's yeah, it's no. To level out. Uh, we we for the first sort of two weeks we were paying silly money for stuff. Um, and then it started to just ease out, and it went, hang on a minute, oh, there's, there's enough stock out there now, uh, and we're back to sort of where we were originally now. So, um, yeah, it's not, and we're still getting plenty, plenty offered to us and buying plenty at, at the right money. So um, it's just trying to build the stock back up now. And again, like you, it's, hang on a minute, we can't, can't get half of this stuff ready at the minute. We need to concentrate on getting stuff out, so... Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've stopped putting, putting stuff on the internet, creating a bit of a thingy of, of motorhomes. Mate, I could talk, we could talk forever, mate, but the idea is just getting people. Do, do you know what, yeah. uh, Shane? How about we yeah. do, I don't know if Mark, it's up to Mark, really. How about we do a caravan catch up or something every week on the caravan side for 10, 10 minutes or something? No. No, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, no, no, so, so, no, that would be good actually because there is quite a few caravan caravaners watching the show. Yeah, we've yeah, got, we're, still got, trying to, we're still trying right. to turn Dan into a motor homer, aren't we? Uh, I was just about to say that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah do, you want, do you want to do a caravan catch up um, each week, mate? Just on, on how, yeah, no, how we do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. 
Cheers, mate. Oh, get back. Oh, we'll speak to you later, mate. So, super job. See you later. See you later. See you later. So, no. Can you uh, have we got it? right? If you want to win, win a load of products from Thetford toilet products, which uh, Lee's quite kindly put up, can you? If you were going to do a toilet product line, what would you call it? We've had some in, haven't we? Just a bit, just a few. Roy Rice, flush away. Stephen B, pong away. Away is popular, isn't it? Lee and Lottie, oh, Lee and Lottie, Lottie, Lee, Lee and Lottie. Blue line. <laughs> it had to be with Owls, didn't it? <laughs> Life beyond break. Liverpool FC toilet company ain't gonna pay that, is he? <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Rolling with that bog time. <laughs> I quite like that one. <laughs> Thunderbox one boom. Matt Westby. Hmm. Turns away, Paul Davis. <laughs> I like this one. Wobble box. The wobble box. The backwards toilet name toilet name crappers. My name for my toilet is going to be called Lily Poo. You know who Lily is everybody, don't you? <laughs> Put Lily <Yep>. back on. <laughs> Lily. Hi Lily. My name. Lily Poo. Next one then, matey. Available today on your seats. Bowl line and make great hats in the hot weather. <laughs> Daz and Kim. Blues at twos range. Blues at twos. Ross Finn. Betsy Boo Clean. The Lou products. Daz and Kim. Go to get there quick. Got to get there quick. Boglet. God, there's loads here. Lil's back again. Pop a rock, pop a rocket. <laughs> Stephen B. Sal Block H. Must put skin. Lil, you're on a roll here, sweetie. <laughs> you're having a massive. My answer is clean a bog. Clean a bog. this one. Are oh, you skidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you who's influencing Lil there. He's got me there. She's, 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 yeah. Anthony Josh, so crap a lot. This I would see you, mate. I know there is. Has he solutions? I can hear him in the, I can hear him in the next room. <laughs> Suggesting yeah. ones. Yeah, I can hear him. Kazi Solutions. Cheapest creepers. Mate, well, she never has, no. Pong Stopper, Stephen B. He's got his work cut out late, has that, hasn't he? Poo's on us. <laughs> 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 Follow through conveniences, Anthony Jarvis. Caravan Addies. Abracadabra toilet cassette cleaner, one flush and it's gone. Be art promoting that, though, wasn't it? <laughs> Toilet plucker Jake, hey, Jake, little boy now, Jake. Toilet <laughs> plucker Jacqueline McLaughlin. I don't know why they're entering because they're not going to use them. <clears throat> to the loo, the black hole, Mark Ireland, Carly Hall, Bog Heroes, Gatch Alive for Hot Box, Turdies. The Trudens, Skids Away, Peepers, The no, Backwards, Last One. Last one. Oh, God, <laughs> I can still hear them upstairs. Can you, can you hear them? Yeah, <laughs> the next yeah. room. <laughs> <sighs> right, okay. shall we bring someone up? Yep. Here we go with next. We've got two in the waiting room. Fairly Sprite. For this right, it was going yeah, like this. I feel like they're, they're too ready for it at the moment. They're too ready for it. What do you mean? They're too yeah. ready for it. I feel like I need to catch them out. Now, hello, hi, hello. It looks like you're on safari. I just finished my gin, so I was like, I need to get some more. <laughs> You've had more than one gin, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> Extreme Motorhome Adventures Yay! YouTube You seem to go out everywhere Doing everything and just film Oh yeah, my god, yeah. yeah 
we're out all the time. We hate being locked down has been the worst thing ever for us because we are never, ever at home. We're always out walking, climbing, biking, hiking. I mean, the crazy thing is that we've only been doing it two years. Um, yeah. So, you know, look back at what done in the last two years. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Enjoyed. Oh, that's to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, my God. We love it. Have you seen any of our crazy adventures? <gasps> Shane, what, what motor have you got? A Cathargo. Love it. it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> which, which one? Which one? Uh, T148H. Okay. Very nice. oh, I, I do like my Cathargos. They are my favourite, I think. Oh, well, we got it because the garage, because we, we like skiing as well. So we thought, heated garage. I can shove him in there when he gets on hey. my nerves. <laughs> I can go in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, it's so, is this, so is this your first motorhome then? Yeah. Or did you yeah. have one before? Yeah. Wow, okay. We've gone from a tent to the motorhome. 2016, we were camping in Italy. 2017, we were in a motorhome in France yeah. and Switzerland. <gasps> it's incredible. Love it. It's just a totally different life. And it's just nice to have the heating and <gasps> brilliant. Love it. So good. They are a great van, though. <gasps> they're superb. And they're, there's no rattles and noises. You know, you know, when you go on the forums and they say, oh, everything's shaking. I can really yeah. hear it. And then it's just really quiet, isn't it? Yeah. And we had the um, air suspension done on it as well. And it just glides. It's lovely. It's really nice. Made a massive difference as well. Yeah. Where, uh, where have you been today? You must have been somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we were we going to the Peak District, but we overslept. Yeah. Had a bit of a late night. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we did a local walk today, didn't we? Yeah. Did a local walk in Leicestershire. Really nice. I've not posted anything, actually, on Twitter. I'm normally there sticking all my stuff on. But, um, no, it was really nice. Had a great time today. Got wet. As always. Do, do you know so, why we were late going to bed? And it, it's not rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we just finished watching Peter Peaky Blinders and we decided, oh, let's watch a couple of our videos. I mean, once we started watching, we just couldn't stop, could we? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got, we were watching our Spanish videos. It was around, just after this time last year. <gasps> oh, and we were just there in the moment, doing our climbing, me getting scared. Yeah, <laughs> just the usual stuff, really. He's like an adrenaline junkie, and I just go along for the ride, so I get dragged into it all, and I cry. <laughs> God, Shane, she wears me out. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you cope, matey? Uh, this is why. I, this is why I take on really. <laughs> this is why I take on really long walks and hikes and scary stuff. So when she comes back, she can have <laughs> it just to go to sleep. <laughs> You just give her a map and say, see you in three hours. <laughs> oh, my God. I get lost. I'm rubbish at map reading. It's so bad. <laughs> how's, lo how's lockdown been for you? Uh, it's been okay, hasn't it? You know, we've, we've actually kind of discovered a lot to do around our local area. Yeah. And so being kind of walking out and, like, you know, it's actually amazing what you can do when you do what's just on your doorstep. You know, we live Sorry, in Leicestershire. Where are you based? Leicestershire. Where? Right, okay. So, you know, it's it's not like kind of like, it's not like the lakes or the peak district or anything like that. But, you know, we've just been walking around and we found some really nice places to go to. But we've pretty much kind of now done everything within mm. kind of probably a 20 mile radius. Obviously, we've been off to the peak district a couple of times, but, uh, you know, we're ready now. We need to get out. Definitely. So, we, were, we were supposed to be going off to Italy in, uh, the, well, now, aren't we? Now, it's meant yeah. to be in Italy now and uh, in the Dolomites. Where there's all the Via Ferrata climbing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he takes me there because he <laughs> hopes that I'll just fall off a cliff or something. <laughs> In his dream. <laughs> Stop, Jason! <laughs> Sorry, Shane, you want to say something, Woody? Yeah, you've so, got no choice. You can't get a word in, can you? Sorry. <laughs> 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 so, where, so, where's your first trip? What, what when, when, coming when up? you open back up again, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so th this week, this coming weekend, on the 4th of July, we're off to North Yorkshire Moors. Okay. Yeah, uh, for Whitby, three or four days, yeah, near, near Whitby. We're taking yeah, the electric okay. bikes, so we're going to cycle, and apparently we've just got enough battery to get back. Oh. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> not, not climbing no mountains this weekend, then, no. 
Not this, no, no, I can't think of any that are any. No, no, no mountains. No mountains. No, no budgie jump anywhere or anything. Uh, no, nothing very open. If, if there was, if there was, they'd definitely be doing it, but uh, I don't think there is any there. <laughs> do you go to the campsites though, as well? Yeah, we do right. quite a lot of campsites. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts when they open up again? Will you be using facilities if they're open, or what, what's your general feel on, on the open? Well, as you probably saw, I commented on your thing because normally our facilities, I've only we've only used the shower twice <laughs> in two and a half years because I like to keep it clean. And um, <laughs> toilets for a little tinkle, nothing else. <laughs> well, it's not with the rule, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd just rather use the ones that you're paying for, the facilities, yeah. Yeah. if that's what you can get away with. So um, that's why I bought the toilet bowl things. Obviously, never ever use them. I've got Ms. the flora spray. Bit of nice smell going on, and we have actually just bought. We've actually just bought another Thetford cassette as well. Yes, we've, so got, we've two. got We've got two. A backup, just in case. That's not me. That'll be him. <laughs> I obviously mine's rose petals. <laughs> I don't know why you laugh then, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> I've just got visited of these two cassette toilets. <laughs> uh, one, with, one with the I same don't... design you've got behind you. What? Are they, are they the Is same design? Of the, uh, what you've the, got behind you. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of like, yeah. I made those. I did those. We love South Africa. And it's a South African theme. <laughs> Do you want to come on again for 20 minutes and have a proper conversation? Because I tell you what, I, I need to get organised for you, Ben. <laughs> I'm so hot. God. Oh, this is why we don't do lives, because honestly, I'm calamity, Jane. So what other plans have you got for this year, though? Oh, well, they, they, they keep changing because we actually don't really know what's... Yeah. Yeah, what the, what the situation is going to be. So we've got maybe two or three plans. So the plan is for to, to do some weekends away during uh, July and August, <laughs> and then in September we've got a couple of weeks where we're going to go to either Scotland, Ireland, or go to, to uh, Europe. Sorry, Dan. Dan, the is and is walking down to the chemical waste point together. Relaxing. <laughs> Oh my, and caravan nut. How much gin have you had, Michelle? I was going to two and a half. <laughs> Seriously. And then we've also got Leah and Lolly. Lolly, too much gin left. Uh, <laughs> I am happy on life, I have to say. I'm not going to be on. I don't drink gin all the time, honestly. I'm normally quite good. <laughs> Paul Davies said Extreme Motorhome Adventure is one of the best channels on here. Oh, oh we like them. Well, who's that? Who is that, Joey? Uh, Paul Davies. Okay. Oh, Paul Davies. Thank you. Oh. Check, checks in the post. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Gregor Menzies, we've got your subscriber, Extreme. Oh, hey. thank you. Extreme Motorhome Adventures, I am subscribed to your channel. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> we are normal, honestly. We'd, My we'd God, so you'd, get a, you'd get excited to an opening of an envelope, wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Um, Matt Wellsby, if, any, if you're anything like my lady, it's like a Yeti has been to the toilet and she's a lady as well. A Yeti has been to the toilet and she's a lady. Yeti? Yeah. What's that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> Lee and Laurie. Oh, Martin Sills, gin o'clock here too. They're all joining in with you. Uh, yes, uh, but look, it's empty. Oh, where is it? There we oh, go. Look. Great dog. <laughs> Beist and Blinken. I will subscribe to Extreme Motor Adventures too. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. It's so lovely. <gasps> Lee and Laurie, we have watched all the videos. Thank oh. you. Oh, nice to blinkers. I think you must do a live. There you oh go. My God. Could you imagine? It would be carnage, wouldn't it? It's carnage now. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is this is, uh, this is quite calm, really. <laughs> Kobe the camper met them at the show. Lovely people. 
Oh, yeah. Kobe. Yes, we know Kobe. Yes. Oh, met his whole family. They were lovely. There's some love here for you. I know. That's so nice. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you guys as well for inviting us along. No problem. Uh, what we'll try and do is we'll get you on for um, probably in a few weeks' time when you've been somewhere. We've got some different things to chat about, the different places. Oh, yeah, because I've never got anything to chat about, ever. <laughs> no, I thought you'd been a bit quiet tonight, to be honest with you. You need to book your ideas up. I am retiring. <laughs> oh, we'll be able to call you. About Blake's, the full, Blake's full on two. I have subscribed to Extreme Motor Adventures oh. as well. Oh, hey. thank you so much, Blake's four on tour. Oh, I am actually dreading the toilet thing though. I know you've been talking about toilets tonight, and I was like, God, what is it with toilets? Because obviously we're going away on Saturday because we're allowed. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just a bit because I'm not going to use the facilities. I don't think I'm going to make him use the facilities though. Are they, are they even open? Do you know? Yeah, they're open. Yeah. 4th of July. Are they, are they, yeah, I know. Because some campsites aren't open. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Like some campsites yeah. aren't open in the facility. Yeah, I mean, actually, we booked into a campsite with the Motorhome Club and uh, we actually got an email saying they, were, they, were, they weren't open. So we actually can book somewhere else. But yeah, they're definitely open. It's a quieter site. It's not a Motorhome and character because we're in both the clubs. It's Brilliant. a what? Really it's a what? It's um, what do you call them? A quieter site. site. Yeah. What the bloody hell are you doing, Goomer? <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment. Volkswagen <laughs> Adventures with Lee, Lisa, Lisa and Phil. I oh. we have subscribed as well. Hey, you do well tonight. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Right. It's been fantastic having you on. I'm going to go and sit in the dark corner now and recover. Hey, <laughs> Brett. <laughs> uh, hey, no, seriously, it's been great to have you on. You're 100 mile now, which is brilliant. I love the energy. and It does show through on your videos as well. Uh, oh. Like I said, I've watched a few. And that's why I knew you got a Cathargo as well. And I knew Shane would be excited. Um, but no, brilliant. And hopefully we can get you on for a bit longer next time. Okay, thank Give you. Give us about four hours next time. <laughs> <How long ago? laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'll have to zip it. <laughs> really thanks very much anyway thank you bye bye bye, -bye. Right. god there's some energy there isn't there there is it's good Gee, energy's good really? yeah yeah good videos as well matey like i say that when i saw the cathargo it was a great fun mate great fun um chuck some shout outs up hey eh? we got Teresa tims with another tranquil park I think that's where extreme motor home adventures are going next week. Right, okay. So if they can tell us where we, where they're going to be every week, then we know where to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Right, who, what else have we got, mate? Andrew. Andrew, subscribe to extreme motor home adventures as well. Yep. Uh, she could have him. And uh, Lee and Laurie. Lee, I, I, sorry, I'll let you uh, describe that. Lee, Laurie, Lee, Laurie, that. Lee, Laurie. And the th 3D ones are great. The 3D ones? 360 ones. 360, isn't it? 360, yeah. Uh, I think they did that. I watched one. I think it was at the show they did a 360 one. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mate, mate, we're running away with time here. I know. Shall we get someone else on? We'll get John on, yes. We'll get John. You ready? Go on, fire away. Here's John. Here's John. John. It's John! Hello. John's right on man, isn't he? Kind of unsure. Other way round. <laughs> hey, I will start off. I have not no been problem. on the gin. What, the whisk instead? No. <laughs> Plain old water tonight. <laughs> I tell you what, when we get extreme motor and adventures on again, oh, so mate. I will be on the gin two hours before they come on. <laughs> mate, honestly, I've met Michelle and Andy up at the show and we... we talk a lot on twitter and that because that's, that's one of the good things about this is that the the motorhome community and the caravan community we all just all come together um and she is as mad as a box of frogs um and i i, I, I did <laughs> the chat. i hope she likes her muff because i sent her a muff <laughs> i saw that come up in the comments something about that i, was like, <laughs> I, I won't click would... on that one i'll just yeah. ignore that one i'm not quite sure where that's going <laughs> shell will probably put in the comments now that she she loves her muff 
What's a muff? <laughs> I've got to ask. <laughs> so on my um, on my vlogging camera, um, you know, like the they call some people call them dead cats or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah for muffling the wind noise. Um, yeah. So I, I've got one, and it's a it's a muff. And um, the guys who um, sell it, he uh, he posted a picture up of a little sticker that says "I love muff." And I was like, I've got to get me one of them. So I, I messaged him and I said, any chance I could have one of those muff stickers? And yeah, bless him, he sent a couple through. So uh, I, I don't posted a po picture up on Twitter. And uh, Shell was like, oh, my God, I love that. So I said, look, I've got a spare one. I'll trade you. I'll send one through. And uh, bless her, she sent me through a uh, uh, one of their Extreme Motorhome Adventure stickers as well. But that's the that's the good thing about our community is that everybody on on mainly on Twitter uh, do, that, do, do that one again. Oh my right god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. If I'd known you were in the in the uh, lobby, we could have been having a riot by now. <laughs> so good. <laughs> you guys all right? We're yeah, good. Thank thanks. you. Oh, cool. it's your time. We're going. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big party. That's what we're here. We're, we're here to have a party. Well, you're having more of a party than I am because I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> Shell hasn't. <laughs> I've been interrupted work all the time, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> right, <did> a bit. <laughs> John, before we go any, more, any, uh, any mm. further, matey, Caravan Short, tell us a little bit about you. Um, I know about it. We'll just tell everybody else. Caravan short. So um, we've been, we've been, we're, we were new to caravanning three years ago. Um, bought our first caravan. Um, as many people, we we started off in tents um, and always enviously looking on the people with caravans, saying, "Oh look, they've got heating, they've got light, they've got a toilet. We don't have to do the traipse at one o'clock in the morning when your youngest one needs a toilet." And um, we, we decided we'll take the plunge. And at the time, we were looking at either a motorhome or a caravan. And, and God's honest truth, we, we were, it was one or the other. And it was only one of our friends that we spoke to. They had a, car, a motorhome. And they said, it's great. It's great. Except when you want to go for a day out. And then it's parking can be an issue. You've got to pack everything away. Um, so we went down the, the caravan route. And I always sort of think back, thinking, oh, what would it have been like if we'd had a motorhome? Um, but no, we actually, we've got a Bailey, um, five birth Ancona, uh, 2017. So we bought it, bought it new back in 2017 and, um, good observation. Yeah. <laughs> See, on the ball. I'm on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for the first year, um, yeah, we were just getting used to it, um, working out how everything works and like everybody does, we went, I, I went on YouTube. I was scared poopless about starting caravanning and what i had to do how do i tow how do i reverse how does the toilet work um so like everybody i went on youtube um yeah. and i researched from there um that introduced me to uh the man that is mr trudgeon and um mm. we found found out that we actually live in the same town and we ended up at well, i ended up at his storage yard so i eventually i met met dan up at the storage yard one day and we got chatting and uh um from there uh, three years on we're really good mates <laughs> um, <laughs> and it, we've formed a a, a a beautiful relationship and and like you two the way you bounce off of each other our relationship is similar to that we we've done uh, five episodes of, of caravans coffee and cake our our um say uh, podcast um and although it's not a, a live like you guys do we, we i love your show mate yeah, Live right. from a caravan storage park near you. This is it. I, I do it. I said to Dan, because we only had a quick chat uh, with Dan, um, mm. and I really bounced off him. I, I could tell why you're good mates with him as well. Yeah. Um, but I do. I, I love that show, and I don't know why you boys don't do it live. We, it's, uh, I mean, we have we have spoken about it, and uh, the, the thing is, it, it's recorded. It? We record it live. Um, Dan does a lot of magic in the background with the editing, because by god he could not put half the stuff that we say I'm on just about to say it's a bit too dangerous to do live <laughs> so, i mean honestly when, i've just when seen we... with extreme motor adventures oh yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> we started off with the swear jar and um honestly the idea we, we i can't remember how we came up with the idea dan will probably know and and it was just like look should we just just sit in the van in the storage yard and just have a chat I'm like yeah let's have a go and 
that was the first the first episode was born and we, we had a swear jar and yeah it got used a lot and a lot of it was edited out but it's just essentially it's two blokes having a chat um from there we uh we got andy from make wave of the morley involved um and then we've had our wives involved and it's great it's it's really really good fun to do them and, and i do agree we should be doing more but again it's 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 a lot of hard work behind the scenes. With a live, like you say, you can you, you click on, you start it, and and you're done. Behind the scenes for a live, uh, sorry, behind the scenes for our recorded ones, um, we 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 although the episodes are, I don't know what, forty minutes long, they take about four or five hours of us chatting, <laughs> and because it's yeah. we're just sat there. It's it's me, Dan, Andy. We're all on a call like this, chatting away. It's it's wicked. It's brilliant. I think you would do well live though. Seriously. I make it happen, Dan. <laughs> Dan, in the comments, make it happen. So, well, well, we have a facility, and if everybody sticks around in the lobby a bit later, we can mm. bring up one, two, three, four, five. So we can bring everybody up. That would be a laugh. So yeah. uh, we'll we'll do that in a bit. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was. I think that was the thing from that meeting, Dan, and and starting the the the, the podcast. I mean, that was probably a year. But after I started my channel, and and that came about again from looking on YouTube and thinking somebody hasn't done a video about this, or Dan's done a video about this, but I want to do it differently. And I mean, that's that's how I started. It's it's just have a go, and it's um, it's amazing to see how your channel can grow uh, so quickly from doing videos that people like. And it's it's not like we say it's not. It's just that what we do. It's what I do. It's what I find difficult, or it's what I've I've had a problem with my roller blinds, like Mark was saying. And it's like, well, I'm just going to film it. I'm just going to film myself doing it. Um, some of our videos are, yeah, it's it's family adventures. We're out and about. We're um, we're just recording what we're doing. Others are silly little short ones, and yeah, it's You've just got to mix it up, though. You've got to mix yeah. it up, though, John. Mm. Yeah. 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 You, you have got to mix it up. Uh, mm. And people don't think it's not easy as well. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Motor Home Adventures will know. Um, yourself will know. You've got to film it, then you've got to edit it, and then you've yeah. got to put it off. So, I think uh, that's what I enjoy about it the most is that I remember my first couple of videos, I didn't even want to be on camera. And you listen, to your, you listen to yourself back and you think, oh, God, I sound weird. Um, but then there's a time you comes and it's like, right, I need to take the plunge. And hold that camera out in front of your face and go, hello world, it's me. <laughs> um, that's but, why I That's why I never say subscribe to, to me because I can't say it like when I do it on film. I, I mess it up I, all the time. I, honestly. I just forget it. <laughs> I, like, I like how uh, John Stain with, th with the theme keeps saying take the plunge. Yeah, but, but oh, hey, there's ooh, one. That's yeah, my, yeah. hey, uh, copyrighted, that's you... my entry. <laughs> take the plunge. <laughs> yes, if yeah. you were designing <laughs> your own toilet range, what would you call it? Do I have to put it in the comments for mine to work? Take the plunge. <laughs> yeah, I actually couldn't know. Yeah. Have Blake's four on tour. Have subscribed to Caravan Shorts too. Thank you. Dan, the Trudgeons, uh -oh. maybe. Now, is that maybe to nah. do a live? I'll tell you That's... what, Dan, if you want to get up and do a live, we'll all jump on together and do it. I no think it would be a laugh. I think it would be a laugh. I mean, like I say, it's, um, yeah, our, our, our Caravan Coffee and Cake podcast. I mean, again, if you've not listened to that, get over to Dan's channel. Um, it's, it's basically, yeah, it's him, me, Andy Morley, few others. And the, 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 the episodes, that we, we're just generally chatting about stuff. We've done lockdown ones. Um, you then get to, if you go on, um, I wrote them down, iTunes, Spotify, or TuneIn, um, you can listen to the extended version as well. So it's an audio-only extended version. And, um, yeah, they're a good crack. It's a good laugh doing them. I, I, I love doing them. I'll be honest, I've watched them all. I watched your first one, but I'd say there was just the two of you. Yeah. With your coffee and your swear, swear thing. <laughs> well, uh, could we drop some comments down, mate? Yeah, where do you want to start with? Uh, the nice ones. Want? <laughs> Does it matter? Oh, I ain't got that no, many. Not really. <laughs> oh, Andrew. Oliver Cox. Hi, Oliver. I think you should guest on it if Dan and John, if they do it. Oliver Cox, I think you should guest on it if Dan and John do it. What's happening? For us to guest on it. Yeah. Of course we will. Of course we will. No problems there. Carry on with the Coxies. Thanks. Have the back of us. Maybe I should do a bit on this live. Ah. <laughs> 
Evening, Dave. Oh, Coll <laughs> collapse. Evening. Collapse products. Um, collapse did a good. competition as well, didn't we? That we that we did. Um, really good well. products, those. I know when when Dave was on the other week, um, and uh, yeah, I mean we've got a selection of their products, and and it, they do work as well as they say. Um, they are they're cracking bits of kit, and that's not a that's not a promotion or anything for the collapse boys although it is but they work really really well <laughs> especially I, I love the um, the collapsible tubes um the the waste the outlet pipe tubes yeah wicked uh, i mean uh, if, again it's those when you first get started in the caravanine you get your little bit that comes out and you're like okay i'm on a i'm on a service pitch now how do i get that from there to over there and the 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 um, the flexi waste pipes wicked oh yeah yeah you can pay me later cheers mate <laughs> the, the, the daft thing is since since the collapse were on i've seen to see them everywhere i look on facebook twitter and everywhere like that all of a sudden you just got all these mm. all, all these little plugs for him everywhere no they are good they really are good products especially yeah. especially the pipe where you can uh, do the diameter down yes yeah that's one I of their new that. ones isn't it yeah yeah, you can cut sure. it to, the, to a, accordingly. John, we're, we're mm. running away with time here, mate. No, do you want to, do you want, no, no, you're right. Do you want to stay on? Because we've mm. got um, someone else who's just popped up as well. Do you want to stay on with us? Yeah. Um, and then I think probably in a few weeks' time, we'll get John back on for a good chat. Love to. Yep. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, of course, uh, mate. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Well, yeah, we're just running away with time. I've just seen someone else who's popped up. Shall we get someone else on, mate? Yep, okay. And um, leave John on as well. All right. Rolling with the Robinsons. Yeah, I see. You did your first live a couple of weeks ago, didn't you? We did. I'm I'm a teacher, secondary school teacher, so see a couple of kids found out, and they tried to have a go. But to be fair, I was quite looking at my moderators were on it. I had a couple of moderators, and they were just blocking everybody. I went I went from three people on my channel that were blocked, which were kids from my school, to fifty. <laughs> so I have I had like a tiny thing on YouTube, and now it's just this massive lich after school too. <laughs> All the people that I have blocked, but you know, that's kids. Rolling with the Robertsons. Tell everybody about yourself, matey. Yeah, so we're just a, a smallish channel. We started about a year and a half ago, and um, we're in a family caravan. That's what we're trying to get across. We're trying to get across the experience to people who don't have a caravan, but what it's like being a family. That's what we. That's what our whole kind of niche is as a pool. So we don't want to talk about other things. I mean, I, I'm not, nothing against motorhomes, but for us, it's all about caravans and spending time as a family in a caravan. And that's what we're trying to show people, A, through vlogging, which I just don't do as well, but that's still our our core aim, to show people that you can have a good time. And it's different than what my video today was about, that when I was a teenager, I didn't want to be in either caravan. <laughs> do you know, that was like my my worst nightmare. I'm never having a caravan, you know. I'm, I'm never going to go there. And then ended up with a caravan. So there you go. So how did, like I say, yeah, you, you got how long did you have the caravan? Uh, we've had it nearly. We've had a caravan nearly three years. We got it in yeah. July. And then so, how, did you, how did you start into the YouTube? I just saw a bit. I saw Dan and I saw uh, the Morleys as well, and I thought there wasn't a lot of family people. And obviously, John does family stuff as well. And like obviously, Dan did bits and pieces as well. But that's what I wanted to try and look at. And the fact that we'd had really good experiences just going about in the caravan, and I thought, well. Surely more people need to know this because a lot of people when you're at work are like, you've got a caravan. It's the, the kids are school. Like, why would you go in the caravan? I think, well, why would you not? Like, I know, but and I'm like trying to say that it's a different way of doing things. And like, Who's laughing now, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, part of the story was, we've got three kids, and um, like we just looked at the cost of holidays. I'm a teacher, so you, you go away in the six weeks, it's like four K. Like, mm. Nothing wrong with wrong of it, but it's like it's four thousand pounds. You're thinking, well, okay. I know you have to buy the caravan in the first place or the motorhome, whatever you get. But then we we save you know, two and a half grand a year by using the caravan instead of our main holiday. And then we can go on more holidays or we, we, we say it when we want. Sorry, we say it to our kids. It's once it's once a month. Um, it's we're going on holiday. Where are we going? We're yeah. going 30 minutes up the road. But for them, it's a holiday. Yeah. It's I mean, it, you can't beat it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the girls were uh, like when we bought the caravan home, they were just check it over. As soon as they got here, can we sleep in it? And I was like, because uh, obviously I had to sleep in it. Can we sleep in it? Go on, Dad. Can we sleep in it? Yes, okay. It's the toilet in. Straight away, <laughs> the toilet in. I was like, oh, yes, I'll go and put the toilet in. And obviously, then the little one who's three went, Dad, I need to go and have a poo in the toilet. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Don't go down to that. 
But again, on site, we probably will let the girls use it because it, it makes sense. Mm. Oh, when, but, when are you going away? Uh, on Saturday, the 4th, we've got to a CL. So we've been to a CL before, which had nothing. So at least we've done it before. And I don't have any problem. Then in the toilet, yes, obviously there is, you know, number twos in there. But, you know, if you've been a parent, you've, you've probably done a lot worse than yeah. the toilet because that's probably nothing compared to what, like, you know, having kids. Have you been working through lockdown, then? Well, as a teacher, yes and no. It's like, it depends what's going on. It's ramping up now because more students are going back to school. Um, but not a lot, to be fair. And I've been quite lucky that I've basically been sat in the house working with my kids all the time, which has been good. Well, I love you, haven't we? Yeah. I think it's sick of me because I'm on their case all the time. Like, like as a teacher, and they try to do schoolwork, they don't get away with nothing. Nothing. Are you, re are you really hard on them? You like, I'm not horribly hard on them. <laughs> certain things, I will let them miss certain things sometimes, but generally, it's like, you've got to get this done. English yeah. and math, we'll get that done. Is there anything with computing? Because that's what my degree's in. Get the computer science stuff done. That needs doing. Do they um, do they come in in the morning and go, morning, mister? <laughs> so we just do the register like you did at the school. Do the register. Yeah. Maisie, yes. In. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got the toilet yet? It's going to be five minutes. Come on. No, have they not. tried to wind you up yet? They do a little bit, but to be fair, they've been pretty good. I thought they would be harder than they have been. It's been all right. Obviously, the fact it's, it's, di we, it's difficult but, for the irons when we're in this situation, isn't it? I mean, a, a lot of you guys will know as well. I'm a, a, a Cub Scout leader, and yeah. um, we've been trying to keep things regular for 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 our young people as well. And it's yeah. it, we don't know what effect this is having on them yeah. um, fr from a social side of thing, mm -hmm. or or what goes through their head is, oh, is it really dangerous? Is it how bad is it going to be? And homeschooling, and it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, well, Martha, the middle one, would like to be homeschooled all the time. Because in a sense, she's got a one-to-one -one person to sit with her. Yeah. Any questions, dad, dad, dad. So, Yeah, see, um, um, when I get the questions, it's like Google. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but I don't mind math, so it's like any math questions, I'll happily sit and do them. But yeah. that's prepared to get a secondary school and do something really hard, and I'll be like, oh, I don't know. It's been good. And the girls are looking forward to going away on Saturday, so... Happy days. Mm. I think at the end of the day, everybody's been cooped up for three months. All they want to yeah. do is go away. And it doesn't really matter where they go. Yeah. Well, when, the, um, when we brought the caravan back, first thing they said, when we were going away next Saturday, how long we're going away for? One night. Just one night. Yeah, because we're, we're doing the same. Morning, but actually, we're back on, well, Matt Lucy's on work on the Monday, so we can't go any longer. When I could drop her off and come back, but it just doesn't make sense. But away the next weekend for three nights, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so... See, we're doing the same. We're away for one night on the Saturday, and it's it's a bit of a shakedown because yeah. it's not been used since February. Um, so before our holiday end of July, um, I want to make sure that everything's working. So even yeah. if it's just one night, it's half an hour down the road, yeah. ideal, um, just to make sure. Because we don't, we haven't got the luxury of being able to keep the caravan at home. It's in storage, so yeah. can't plug everything in and check it. And but, there's only so many jobs you can do on it, isn't there? Yeah, well, we brought it home just for a couple of nights to try it out. So try the electrics, blah blah blah, a couple of things. The mm. sink's leaking, joy. Uh, that'll get sorted. And then it decided on the way back to lose one of its covers for the um, motor mover. Uh, so I've I'll seen that you posted that. Out. I just got, I got the storage. I was like, hold on, there's something different about the caravan. Oh, yes, I can see what's different. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I'll tell you what good. is good, Shane. I'll tell you what is good, Shane. Just get two other people on. They make, make, you, make your job easy, don't you? Just have city. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> The I'll tell you what, we're, we're, again, we're running away with time. It's been great talking to you, Rolly. Do, do you want to stop for a bit? Yeah, can do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shall we get the other two lots of reprobates up? Because that's perfect timing. Quick, quick. <laughs> oh, let's, let's get the bad one first. There we go. There you go. <laughs> got one more. <laughs> hey? Oh, I thought it was the other way around. I'm on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> With all that bit of the talk now. Right, Lee. I'm quiet. <laughs> Jace. Lee, yeah. Um, who's your winner, matey? Well, you went through all that list, right, and one came up fairly early on that I thought straight away, that's a really good one. You said Lily's one, haven't you? It's Lily, Lily's one. No, Lily needs a motor. It's, it's, it's Jake. No. Oh. No. Okay. Um, I'm one. going with Teddy. Teresa Timms. Teresa Timms 
It'd be brilliant to have it on your bet home. I think ablutions. That's a good one. Ablutions. As soon as I saw it, I thought that's a good effort. That ah. ablutions. Theresa Tins, there you go. You're the winner. You yeah, can market that quite well. Theresa Tims, if you can get in touch with us on my Twitter uh, or email the Motor Home Show at gmail.com with your name and address, um, and then Lee will send them out to you. He's I will. I've donated them. You're posting them. They're in your room. The postage cost the same amount. <laughs> Enjoyed it tonight, Shane. It's been different, hasn't it? Have done this. It's nice to see you back for a while. <laughs> we won something. Thank you so much. We ought to do giveaways each week because people just really enjoy them, don't we? Yeah, we need to. We should do it for when we get so many people watching. We could give we extreme every, Everybody away, needs we? to invite everybody. <laughs> Right, anything else anything you want to come up with, Lee? No. Ready for bed, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drinking this afternoon. <laughs> we went out this afternoon. I was having a lunchtime drink. Lucky I'm still awake. Only just ran. We were going to go paddle boarding, but it was too windy, so we just went around and had a walk around the lake and something to eat. It's exactly blow you away, is it? Have you seen yourself? You sit in that lobby like a little buddy. <laughs> On your phone. Hey, <laughs> listen, Lloyd. Where's that, that picture? See, he's got all this stuff on his hair because he had his hair cut in the week. That Has he got it? And he's had his hair cut, and I got sent a picture of it. He looked like Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and find that before we go. You gotta find it. You gotta find it. it. <laughs> John, is anything you want to come up with? Anything? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask about cheese or anything like that. Um, cheese. 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 There was a fantastic yeah. moment where we had Dad off with the Trojans and I said, anything technical you'd like to ask Lee? And he sat there and he went, what's your favourite cheese? Ah, I have got one, actually. Yes. What cheese? No. <laughs> Question. Yeah. Um... I don't know what it's called because I've never changed it, uh, which is probably not a good thing after. No, hang on. <laughs> you know, on your inlet, your water inlet feed, yeah, there's a filter, a white filter by the on and off valve. How often should you change that? White filter by your Yeah, so you know your mains water in on yeah. a caravan. Um, yeah. There's like a there's like a. Um, I'm it describing sits in it really. And stands up by itself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's I've, not a filter. I've, it's not a filter. Oh, oh what no. is it then? It's, um, do you know what? I can't think what the bloody name is. I've not changed it. <laughs> surge jumper, that's the word. Yeah, ah. that surge jumper that is. It's not a filter. So there isn't, but is, is there an inline pump. filter? Um, you might have a strainer on your pump if you've got one of those. What depends what sort of type of inlet you've got. Right. What does the damper do? Have you got an onboard, onboard pump or is the pump on the... No, pump's on that goes in the aqua roll. Mm, you might not have one. You might not. Right. What does the damper do, Wurbley? Yeah. Dampens a surge. Dampens water. <laughs> <laughs> so in the name, isn't it? Surge damper. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, rolling with the Robinsons, you had a few problems with your caravan. Anything you want to ask, um, Lee? Yeah, well, our sinks decided to start leaking in the kitchen area because I pulled the drawer out because the drawer was directly under the sink. And when I looked, yeah. it was like a, like a big, it must be a seal, but a big O ring. So I'm assuming in, in, you can just kind of unscrew it or whatever and replace that rather than replace the sink, do you think? Because yeah. kind of the, the waste tubes doesn't seem to be driven. It's actually driven from like this all sort of ring or whatever, like a big ring, it's slowly driven out. What normally happens is things in the drawer catch them as you pull them out because the waste trap goes underneath and the drawer catches them right. and it just moves them. So, yeah, if you just realign it and tighten it back up, it'll stop oh, it. Right. Okay, that's the one. Another one? Do you, anything else? Uh, I've, I've, got, I've got one. I've got one quickly. No, that's fine. Who does this look like? <laughs> 
<laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> I'm going to get you bad big time. Wow, Forrest. <laughs> Don't you start. No, the minimum thing I was going to ask quickly is, on a water mover, can you adjust it so it doesn't spring out as far? And that's such an odd question. When, when, when the mover's one... fitted, yeah. when you fit a mover, there'll be a space <laughs> the, between the roller and the wheel. So oh. if you move it back any further, then it won't engage properly on the wheel. Because on one side, it's obviously cracked the cover at one point, but then obviously I fixed it again. But then it just when it springs back, it just whacks it. The cover, but the other side's fine. So I don't know whether that's needs adjusting slightly. Might do, might do. Oh, no problem. Might, it might just be sitting off slightly. It might have been knocked. Yeah. Extreme. Right. Any motor technical questions? Well, we do actually. We have a serious question, believe it oh, or God. not. <laughs> so I've seen on the forums uh, recently that uh, on a Fiat Ducato, you're supposed to grease the rear, ax rear axle once a year. And I've no idea what to do there or if it's actually really required. Um, yeah, I, I did a Bailey a um, couple of days ago with the, yeah. There is literally, as you go underneath, you, you'll see the round tube of the axle and literally just the other side of the chassis plate there's a grease nipple either side okay you can, so, so you can easy, get at it quite easily so we've had it serviced so will they have done that when they serviced it <laughs> i can't answer that <laughs> <laughs> would you have done it lee <laughs> I, I just said i did one the other day <laughs> do, you, do you always grease the nipple lee uh, <laughs> that's what he's got his lube for if i've got any lube <laughs> Considering you've had it service the other day, that's worth checking, you know, just looking <laughs> underneath and having a look. Yeah. Um, I was talking to Extreme Motor Homes. Okay. <laughs> probably is, <laughs> I'm not even involved in this one at no. all. Talking no. about it probably lose. is worth having a look see if it's been done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Does anyone know the caravan Addies? Oh. So chuffed, we picked up our 2018 Bessie Car 560 on Saturday. Oh, we can go away, you know. Um, Caravan Addies, does anyone know how much it is to change the battery in the tracker? I think it's a leisure battery, isn't it? No, the, uh, yeah, they normally run off your leisure battery. I normally get people ringing me up saying, <laughs> just got a call from my tracker company. Yeah, it's because I've just disconnected your battery to test it. <laughs> Oh. Right, so you book. could have a go as well, Mark. Everyone's yeah. picking up me tonight. Right, say the book. <laughs> I'm going. I am. A, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything else, I'm... Shane? Anybody? One? Oh, I don't know. There's there's a quite a few comments actually coming up. I, I oh, just like this one. That's there's still there's still up in the book. Angles tube. Well, it's like Jason. Look at the picture Look. on the Pringles tube. I'm going to have to think about that one. I'm going to have to Google it. I've got one. <laughs> what? <laughs> She'll come back with another gin. That's uh, still the reason why, isn't it? <laughs> oh. I like Duffy Larby. No, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> That looks much closer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of that. You know what? When I got that picture through, I thought, oh, my God, what's he done? First, first thing I thought is, did you let him in front of customers like that? Any more comments, Shane? I'm losing uh, the bill, you know. <laughs> Dan, I've really enjoyed this evening's episode. Do this again. You've had some great guests. And Lee. <laughs> and Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the last, that's the last time I promote one of your videos. <laughs> great show, guys. Sorry I couldn't stop on. I like the tour back tonight, Shane. Yeah, it's been good, actually. Yeah. yeah. Another good oh. Sunday evening viewing. Thanks to Beckwith. Martin Sills, great night. Cheers all now down to the shop, ran out of the gym. <laughs> just nip, just nip to Leicester. Yeah. 
There's none there. The pandemic's really bad in Leicester, apparently. <laughs> You're going to get locked down, maybe. I know. I know. I've seen that. But we're outskirts of Leicester. Oh. Yeah. Where, where in Leicester are you? On the outskirts of Leicester. North. <laughs> North. North. Hey? North. Northwest. You're not telling you, you weirdo. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pick on him instead. <laughs> I don't trust any of you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 <laughs> let me take the attention off me again. Let me take the attention off me. There we go. Yay! <laughs> 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 Fabulous. You look fabulous. Right. We're going to have to wrap up now, mate, aren't we? Yeah. I need to bear in my head in some gin or something. Um, hey, it's been brilliant tonight. I've really enjoyed this. Um, John, Extreme Motor Adventures, rolling with the Robertsons. Also, we've had, um, we've had on Mark as well, Caravan Place. Uh, and, and as well, I really appreciate you the time out of coming on as well, folks. Really appreciate that. Thank you. We've loved Nothing. it. It's been brilliant. Thank you for inviting yeah. us along. Thank it's you. been lovely to see you guys. Brilliant. Thank you. And that's, that's it, I said. We'll see everyone yep. uh, next week, I think. Well, I might not after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks very much.